change could be in store for the military when Joe Biden becomes commander in chief on January 20th. He's promised on day one to roll back President Trump's ban on transgender men and women serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. Military reporter Mike Gooding has reaction. Good news could be on the way for the estimated 14,000 transgender active duty and reserve troops in the U.S. military. When he ran for office, Joe Biden said it's simple. Every American who is qualified to serve should be able to. Adding, on day one of my presidency, I will begin reinstating LGBTQ protections President Trump has rolled back, including ensuring transgender individuals can openly serve in the military. I think just knowing that there's that it's coming, that it's, it's getting better, um, I think is, is gonna be huge. Ethan Cusick knows what it's like. Aboard the USS Enterprise in the early 2000s, he served as an F-14 Tomcat radar intercept officer for Oceana Squadron VF-211, an operation enduring freedom in the skies over Afghanistan. But he did so as a female before transitioning. He says transgender men and women are patriotic people who just want to serve and to be honest about who they are. They want to be able to serve as themselves, and they know they can't. And they know that by moving forward, they're risking their, their future military career. So I think this is going to be a huge relief. Virginia 3rd District Representative Bobby Scott supports the rollback. The Democrat says that President Trump shouldn't have changed the policy in the first place. We need to allow everyone who wants to serve the ability to serve, the, serve uh, uh, all volunteers to serve their country. Um, and this was a... Um, solution that didn't even have a problem uh, and can easily be reversed. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.